That girl asked, what's the instrument? And the answer is, if you can speak with a Swedish accent, a nickel hopper. We were picking out the next song. There's many to choose from. You've only memorized so many. He's on the staff. That's our IT guy. No, this is a nickel harper from Sweden. Whoever, all, all both of you out there. <laughs> we have six viewers. Okay, well, the instrument's called a nickel harpa or a nickel harpa. It's a Swedish folk instrument. I don't play it terribly well. And I'm just trying to play whatever I can remember at this point. Look at my profile. This is Star Island in New Hampshire.
Hey. Yep, we have about 300 people here right now. We had a question about how many strings are there. 16. 16 strings. Three melody strings, one drone string, and 12 resonance strings. Okay, thank you. One more? One more. Okay, play. My friend Karen in Maine has a guitar with more than the normal number of strings. It's the 12. I don't know what tune it is. You can find out afterwards. Probably something Swedish. This is a Swedish instrument. No, he's not Swedish, but he did go to Sweden to learn this instrument. Hooray! So you've gotten a big thanks. It sounds like you have an orchestra of violins. People are saying thank you. Wonderful interlude on a Friday evening. Great. Yay. And the last one question was, what was the name of the last song? last was called 1814. It's the last song was 1814. 1814, I think is the name of it. That's an interesting name for a song. Yeah. It's uh, some, some significant year in Swedish history that I don't oh, really okay. know. Oh, okay. All right. Thanks so much for the little impromptu concerto. Okay.